We're Harry and Nikki, a 24 and 25 year old couple who have exchanged the bustling London life for the quiet Suffolk countryside, where we bought this rundown property at auction for just £175,000. Over the last seven months, we've used £30,000 to renovate this property to the best of our ability. In doing so, we've joined this old kitchen and wet room into an open plan kitchen diner. We've added a bathroom upstairs, laid a 40 square meter patio, and even installed our own French doors. But now we're on to the fun bit, where Pinterest is truly our best friend. And whether you're new to our channel or you've been following along for a while now, this video is where you'll see the biggest and craziest aesthetic transformations yet, sprinkled with a bit of back to brick building work. The carpet's installed, the outhouse come off is plastered, the bed's built, the furniture upcycled, the driveway laid, and so much more. Anyway, let's just get into it. So last episode, you might have seen us panelling and painting our lives away in the third and second bedrooms. And now all that mucky work is done, it is finally time to install some carpet upstairs. Now this is something we've been looking forward to for an awful long time now, especially as it's getting so cold outside, so that warm carpet feel is just really needed in this house. So let's get to installing some carpets. Us being newbies to carpet installation, we actually got our plasterer Kieran over to install the carpets with us, whilst teaching us along the way. Yep, you heard that right, our plasterer is also a bit of a carpet fear. He's a man of many talents, what can I say? Now since we learned last episode that plenty of you watching along are budding home renovators yourselves, we wanted to share this little nugget of carpet wisdom with you, as we really found the install to be much simpler than we originally imagined. So we started installing these carpet grippers around the perimeter of every room making sure that the words on the grippers are facing you as you install them and leaving a one centimetre gap between the wall and the gripper. This was a much quicker process than expected. Hammering them down into the ground took about 10 minutes per room. So now is probably a good time to talk about what carpets we actually got. So we ordered ours from Flooring Superstore and we ordered four samples online for free. They came in the post a couple days later, you might have seen on our Instagram story. And as soon as I saw this particular sample, I knew it was the one. If you're wondering what particular carpet this is, this is the Seattle Blanche White. Blanche. Blanche. <laughs> I feel like I'm French. You are, baby. Not only did we choose this for the colour, but also for the pile height of the carpet. It was 16 millimetres thick which would really give it that luxurious and bouncy feeling. And now for the underlay. Underlay, underlay. We got Flooring Superstore's 12 millimeter underlay and no regrets. What a luxury. Not only does it make the carpet feel even thicker, but it also provides a lot of thermal and sound insulation. So people downstairs can't hear you clunking around upstairs. Kieran explained to us that the idea is to spread the carpet across the floor, making sure there's a bit of overhang on every edge, then slowly start to cut it down. Once we were happy, we started attaching the carpet to the grippers while stretching it out with a knee kicker. A tool that Harry was using, probably a bit too enthusiastically. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> it must be a sensational level. <laughs> <laughs> so I just feel the aggression. This ensures that the carpet is tight to the walls and there are no puffy loose bits. We honestly could not be happier with the results. This has really transformed a house into a home. And this process has definitely made us realize that installing carpets really wasn't as hard as we originally thought. And if we were to do it again, we would go solar. And hopefully we've maybe inspired you to do the same. And if that is the case, then Flooring Superstore have actually kindly given us a discount code to give to you guys, which is CL-NAH. So if you're interested in getting 10% off, then have a little look in the description box below. We love carpets. We, we love carpets. We, we love, love carpets. <laughs> Who's not interested in getting 10% off? Oh, that's actually really good, isn't it? Everyone loves a bag. Yeah, especially for a luxury carpet. One of the main things we thought needed the most improvement on our property was the curb appeal. Since we bought this place, the driveway has never been divided, making our house seem a lot less private than we'd like. We know this is an area that we need to work on. But after laying a 40 square meter patio with our bare hands and struggling on it for four or five days, the last thing we want to do right now is dig and lay a driveway. Thankfully for us, these happy lads from TDC Groundworks were more than happy to take on the job. And I know what you're thinking, our budget is basically non-existent, and we're offloading work? 
Look, we're not proud of it, but you're not catching me out there with a shovel in minus degree weather. Let's just sit back for once, grab a cuppa, and let these boys crack on. There you go. Yo. Tuck turn around. Tuck turn around. <laughs> the boys are flying along and we cannot wait to show you the finished result. But before we do that, we've actually got a mini project going on in the garden. So it's time to sort out this outhouse behind us here. That's our project today. We've got some help as well. This is my sister and her partner, Johnny and Danny. Johnny and Danny. Anyway, we're gonna, me and Johnny are gonna plasterboard it up while the girls do some painting inside. So let's turn this into an office. Nick, get your big ass out of the way. <laughs> now we've opened the space up and the outhouse is actually pretty small, pretty cozy, but it's workable. It's enough for a long desk along the back and kind of, yeah, just a work from home space is kind of what we're going for here. Let's do it. Let's go. Do you want me to, cool. to screw it? You got it then, Nikki. Yeah? Now, we mentioned earlier that this outhouse was going to be a work from home kind of office space. And our friends at DIY Kitchens kindly reminded us that their kitchen units can actually double up and be used to build your own office. This will save you not only a whole lot of time building your own unit, but also quite a lot of money. Now we put together our ideas on DIY Kitchen's online planner and this is kind of the relatively simple plan we came up with. We're keeping it simple because it's quite a small space and we don't want to overcrowd it. However, once again, we need your advice. What do you guys think we should go for colour-wise for these units? It's between cornflower blue or heritage green. So please let us know in the comments which one you prefer because we will be going with the majority vote. It's doom day. It's time to plaster this outhouse. I'm gonna give it a go. This either goes really well and I decide I'm a plasterer or it goes pretty poorly. Let's go. It's fair to say I've not mastered the art of plastering yet and I'm not gonna even attempt to give you advice on how it should be properly done. But we've managed to save ourselves a couple of hundred quid in labor attempting this job ourselves. And to be honest, I had some real fun along the way. You might be wondering why we didn't plaster the back wall. And that's because we're going to clad it as a feature wall behind the desk, giving it a similar vibe to some of the vans we've converted before. We can't wait to show you the rest of this project and all of the ideas we have for this DIY outhouse come off this space. But for now, let's see how these boys are getting on and hopefully give this curb appeal a real boost. A crazy stat for you is that only 24.3% of you watching are actually subscribed. It's completely free to subscribe and if you've watched us to this point, we like to think you might be enjoying yourselves, even just a little bit. So please do join our amazing community and hit that subscribe button.
What a massive difference these boys have made already, especially working within our super tight budget on some very cold and windy days. If you need a driveway renovation or any groundworks doing in the Suffolk area, TDC Groundworks are your guys. Now there's still a bit more to be done to really heighten the curve appeal further. We've got plans to hang some solar lights along the new fence, add a small picket fence and some bark clippings to neaten up the flower beds and a fair few small jobs to be done. But we'd love to know if you have any ideas of your own to help us add to our curb appeal. Let us know in the comments below. An so now we've got our carpets in, what more could we want? Oh wait, a bed or two. By the way, these beds are from Happy Beds and they have got a huge list of awesome beds, different varieties, different everything. So whatever bed you'd like in your house, you should check them out if you're thinking of buying one. Oh my God, I'm so excited. When you bear in mind what this bedroom used to look like when we first bought this property at auction, this space is really beginning to be transformed. The reason we went for this Rome Oak wooden bed frame was because of this beautiful slatted headboard, exposing and complementing the panelling behind the bed. We've linked this exact bed in the description box below if any of you watchers are interested. Now we've just slotted these bedside tables in and we actually bought these from auction. I think you guys know we've been going crazy for our auction products recently, bidding on absolutely everything. So let's give these a quick upcycle and then pop them back in and see what they look like because I think these are gonna make the bedroom look so much more grand. Oh. A skeleton board or two. Upcycling can be a very cheap and cheerful activity to really brighten up your home. A way to keep this really cheap is to reuse old spare paint that you originally used on your walls. Or, even better, find some at the local recycling centre for free. Time to tackle furnishing the second bedroom upstairs. Look at the bloody quality this of that. Really, it's amazing. This is the bed. Oh, I like the little man. He's cute, isn't he? Very sophisticated man. Sophisticated gentleman. And when he's unhappy, he shaves his beard. Yeah, let's see what that one looks like. fabric and wooden scroll frame really has started to bring this room together. It pretty much looks finished. With both of them being made from sturdy oak and having their own unique style, it really is a tough call. But if you guys have a particular favourite, then both of the beds are going to be linked in the description down below. So go feel free to treat yourself to a new bed. The journey so far has been such an emotional roller coaster. And if you guys have been following us along for a while now, then we just want to say thank you for your support along the way. It really has been the last four weeks where we've seen the biggest transitions in this house. And now I'm thinking, what the hell were we actually doing for the first five months on this build? With soft furnishings and making this house look complete, you're actually being deceived. There is so much more to be done still, it is crazy. An outhouse project, a pantry makeover, a snag list as long as my <laughs> 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 So 
So a very short snag list. <laughs> So it goes without saying, we are definitely not done yet. Meaning you do not want to miss out on the next few episodes. Although that does wrap us up for this episode. So please do leave a like and remember to comment down below which kitchen unit color you prefer because it is so helpful. Anyway, we will see you in the next episode. Bye. Thanks for watching and subscribe.